Welcome back to A4A2 Media. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to mix your audio in DaVinci Resolve 18. So initially, what you're going to want to do is view your audio channels. And so how do you do that? We're going to go all the way up here to the top right corner where it says Mixer. We're going to click on that. And sometimes you actually want to just pull this out so we can actually see, but it's already pulled out, so it's perfect. Now let's mute the rest of the effects and the music so we can actually hear our interview clip. So we're just gonna go to the tracks, click on the mute buttons, and now we can actually just isolate the interview um, audio so we can hear it in the mixer. So we're gonna press play. Is click through rate how many people click on your video if it appears on their screen? Ever been on YouTube to scroll past all those videos while well, you're decreasing their click through rate? Okay, so perfect. As you can see here, the audio was kind of in between negative five and negative 15. That's where we want most of our audio to be, um, except um, the music. Music can be as loud or as little as possible. It doesn't really matter. But when we're talking about interview clips and sound effects, we want it in between negative five negative 15, even down to negative 20. So we're at a good spot right here. And also, as you can see in the sync audio, there are two audio channels right beside each other. Anything shot on a camera, you actually want to work with mono audio. And this is stereo audio. And sometimes you can have a one legged stereo track. And ideally, you should fix this to turn it into a mono track. So just uh, as a refresher, you can see these two uh, tracks. This indicates that it's a stereo track, and we want it to be just one whole track, which is a mono track. Thankfully, Resolve allows us to change that. So what you're going to want to do is click on your audio track, right click, go down to change track type, and we're going to click on mono. So now when we go back, so now it's one track that is coming out in the audio track we're going to do the same for the effects and also this in this indicator right here 1.0 means that it's a mono track and as you can see in effects one it's 2.0 which indicates that it is a stereo track and we want to change these to mono tracks Now, just as a refresher, when you change your stereo tracks to mono tracks, it actually makes the sound much more smoother. So if you guys want it to sound more professional, you want to change your tracks to mono track. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.